Hello and welcome to the second episode of Economics. I'm your host, David Angelo. This is the show where I explain basic economics without bothering to disguise my disgust at your passive role in destroying our country. But I realize it's tough, you know. I mean, they don't teach uh, economics in public schools anymore. They have to make room for more relevant topics like uh, finger painting and how to treat gonorrhea. So, uh, you know, enough editorializing. I actually got to keep this video shorter because... Uh, Apparently, the average American can't go longer than three minutes without needing a snack break, so let's just get right to it. Today's topic is gasoline taxes. Well, one company, ExxonMobil, made $11 billion, billion with a B, last quarter. They made $11 billion the quarter before that, making money hand over fist, making out like bandits. I believe that's from a speech given at the Khrushchev Institute. You know, everyone always gets upset over all the profits oil companies make. But no one ever looks at what kind of profit the government makes on oil. So I thought it would be interesting to do a quick comparison just to see who makes more per gallon of gasoline sold. The oil company or Chairman Sam. Okay, so because gasoline is priced and taxed differently depending on where you live, I thought I'd just do a simple case study here using a gallon of gasoline sold by Exxon in the city where I currently live, East Berlin. I mean, uh, Los Angeles. Now, it's hard to know exactly what Exxon makes in profit per gallon of gasoline sold. And they've released their own estimates in the past, but I think those numbers are probably too low. So what I'm going to do is use their pre-tax corporate profit margin, which is ultimately the only number that really matters anyway. And that's the number I'm going to apply to the retail price of gasoline to find out how much money Exxon makes in profit per gallon of gasoline sold. Okay, so when gas is $4 at the pump, that includes all the taxes. So let's just see what those taxes are uh, when I buy a gallon of gasoline here in California, in Los Angeles specifically. So you have 36 uh, cent state excise tax. You have an 18.4 cent federal excise tax. Then on top of all that, you have an 8.75% sales tax, which when gas is $4 a gallon works out to 32 cents. So of the $4, 86 cents of that is taxes just straight away. So the retail price is $3.14. And again, if we apply the 16.9% profit margin, we see that Exxon would make $0.53 cents when gas is $4 a gallon. So already, uh, there's more taxes than corporate profit. But remember, Exxon has to pay taxes on their corporate profit. And during that four consecutive uh, quarters, they paid 39% of their profits in tax. And if we apply that proportionally to this $0.53, cents, we have to take $0.21 cents out of it and give that to the tax man. So when gas is $4 a gallon, $1.07 of that is taxes, and only 32 cents of that goes to profit Exxon. Making out like bandits! Now, I can almost hear the faint screams of a Huffington Post blogger telling me that we need taxes for roads, schools, and police. And that's true, we need taxes for a lot of things, like paying interest on a $16 trillion debt and uh, bailing out Warren Buffett's banks. You know, we need taxes. We have a lot of other taxes, too. State income tax, uh, federal income tax, payroll tax, uh, property tax, the list goes on and on. But you have to remember that the oil companies also need some money because they have to go find and extract fossil fuels from the Earth's crust, refine that, and then make it available in every city and town so you and your friends can hop in a Kia and go drive to Burning Man. Anyway, it looks like uh, it's almost snack time here, so I'll see you next week.